I'm Elissa Desani from New York. I've been volunteering at Pardada Pardati School. I want to take you on a journey of this very challenging project to educate girls in rural India. Rural India, a tough life at best. At worst, it is hell for a woman who spends all her days cooking, cleaning, and working in the fields. While men sit around chatting on street corners. As an NGO working for girls, what can one do in rural India? Where does one start? This is the dilemma that Sam Singh faced as he returned from the U.S. to uplift the most neglected in rural India, the girl child. If every girl child in rural India is socially and financially independent, where the quality of life of individuals will be, and from business point of view, how many trillion dollars India's economy will improve. So it is a win-win-win for everybody. The dropout rate for girls in rural India is 66%. The challenge was how to get these girls away. This seven-year-old is cooking evening tea for family members. She spends most of the day cooking or bringing water. Girls mostly do odd jobs around the house. But 13-year-old Archie is a different story. She was born in the lowest of the social hierarchy, in the so-called untouchables. She is poor. She, along with her two sisters, two brothers, her mother and father, live in this 150-square-foot home. The father is also an alcoholic, but Pardada Pardati has changed her life. She gets an education in the school, skills to earn money, and hope that she can control her own destiny. She has been a top performer, and because of that, she has been sent on a trip to the United States. हमारे सर ने गरीब गरीब बच्चों के लिए स्कूल खोला था हमारे स्कूल में पढ़ाई के साथ साथ कढ़ाई भी होती है और स्कूल से यूनिफॉर्म भी मिलती है और किताब कॉपियां मिलती है सारी सुविधाएं होती है हमारे स्कूल से और आने जाने का सारी सुविधाएं जैसे साइकिल बस सब दूर वालों के लिए बस है और वैसे पास के लिए साइकिल दी गई है और खाने हमारे स्कूल में खाना लंच ब्रेक सब मिलता है द चैलेंज वाज टू चेंज हर लाइफ अ लाइफ इन व्हिच शी कुड फुलफिल हर ड्रीम्स where she could get educated, and so would her children one day. There are over a thousand girls in this institution. Here the girls are given not only regular academic coaching, but also vocational training. The vocational school run by the society produces fine embroidered linen work and block printing, which can have various uses. Along with tablecloths, luncheon sets, bed covers, sheets, curtains, and cushions. The school also trains in social aspects, such as personality and leadership development, health and hygiene, legal awareness, money management, and values and ethics. Ideally, the girl comes out of the school not just educated, but also confident and trained in social skills. All the girls here are paid 10 rupees a day for attending classes. The money is not given in the hands of the girl or her parents on a regular basis, but placed in a joint account in the name of the girl and her mother. The money can be withdrawn only after the girl completes class 10. 
The organization wants to educate and give jobs to at least one daughter of each of the 50,000 poor families of Anoop Shahar where this school exists. The organization wants to educate and give jobs to at least one daughter of each of the 50,000 poor families of Anoop Shahar where this school exists. The whole idea of starting primary schools in the rural villages is that we can train the mothers on the livelihood issues, on the issues regarding credits and thrifts programs, health for themselves and their children. That's one program that we are launching very soon. Another program is a home for destitute girls because in the area where we are, there are no support systems for destitute girls or girls in difficult circumstances. Another program that the school has just launched is giving every girl a toilet. A toilet costs just over $200 for each home but it's not an expense their parents can afford. But these toilets are of great help for the security of these girls. Otherwise, they have to get up early in the morning before sunrise and go to the fields to relieve themselves. So the school sought assistance from donors around the world, and there it was. They now have donations for 50 toilets. The school also provides vocational training to nearby village women for attaining financial independence. Pardada Pardati provides free education, three meals a day, uniforms, books, shoes, and bicycles to the students. Mornings are spent with the girls taking academic classes in subjects such as math, science, English, and social studies, music, dance, general knowledge, sports, and computers. Afternoons consist of vocational training and home furnishing textile work. By the time Pardada Pardati students graduate, they have developed highly marketable skills in textile work and produce high-end home furnishings that are sold everywhere from Central Cottage Industries Corporation of India to Milan, Italy. Once the girls have graduated, they have a guaranteed job. Pardada Pardati opens a bank account for each student. For every day a student attends school, 10 rupees are deposited into her bank account. By the time a girl graduates after class 10, she should have approximately 30,000 rupees, assuming she has attended most days of the school year. The only way a girl can access her bank account after graduation is on the day of her marriage or her 21st birthday, whichever comes first. Pordado Pordati wants to be a facilitator in creating a society where women have an equal role in the continued growth of the nation. Ultimately, at the end of the program, these girls leave with a high school diploma, a highly marketable skill in textile work, a sum of approximately 30,000 rupees, the knowledge of self-sustainable systems, most importantly, skills that are both academic and empowerment based, including health, hygiene, food preparation, and legal skills. Changing the life of Artie has meant changing the life of an entire family. It is with these beliefs that the charity hopes to change millions of lives. I hope this journey through rural India was eye-opening. At the moment, we're educating over a thousand girls. Millions wait to take a step forward. We know we can't do this alone. Please come walk with us in educating these girls.
I'm Elissa Dasani in Anoop Shahar, India.